David Harris here with Protection Dog Cells. Today I would like to talk about a phone call that I get quite regular and it's about training dogs in German, specifically German Shepherds, but some other breeds, working breeds. And people want to know, are our dogs trained in German? And I kind of have to just giggle, like, uh, why would they be trained in German? And the answer is always an urban legend. They've heard that you have to train dogs in German so they don't take commands from other people. And of course, my instant response is, do you think the people in Germany train their dogs in English or Swahili or some other language? You know, how is it that their dogs trained in German in Germany don't take commands from other people? You know, so it's just kind of a silly urban legend that's just been uh, sort of fostered by people who import dogs from Germany and the dogs are trained in German and they try to make some big reason about why the dog responds to German commands other than the fact that he grew up in Germany and they speak German in Germany. So, you know, it's just, a, a, you know, kind of silly to think that you have to train your dog in a foreign language for it to not respond to other people. How that's taught is a method called proofing. We actually teach our dogs when they're old enough, physically mature enough, mentally mature enough, not to take commands from other people. It doesn't matter whether they understand that command or not. You know this is true because anybody at a dog show knows there's multiple rings. There are dogs in all of the rings working all at the same time. You're in the ring with your dog telling him to heal and this person in this other ring is throwing a dumbbell and telling the dog to retrieve or to down or to come. I've been in a show where my dog was on a sit stay and right behind my dog in another ring, the only thing that separated my dog and the other dog is a little baby gate looking contraption and the other person is literally yelling commands at his dog, come, down, come. And my dog obviously ignored that because I had taught him to ignore commands from other people. That's called proofing. So once again, this urban legend about German, you know, training dogs in German so they don't take commands from other people. It's just a silly little thing that's been pervasive for years and years. I heard it the first time I ever, you know, met an imported German Shepherd from Germany well over 30 years ago. This dog's trained in German, so he doesn't take commands from other people. It's just silly. But if you want to train your dog in German, that's fine. We can train a dog in German. We can train a dog in French. We can train a dog in Swahili. It won't matter if the dog isn't taught not to take commands from other people. So once again, just a little bit of dog trivia. Why are dogs trained in German? It's because they grew up in Germany. Here in the United States, our native language is Spanish. I mean, English. So we're going to train our dogs in English. First we teach them hand signals, then we teach them English, then we teach them body signals. Sometimes we teach them whistle signals. You can teach as many signals or commands for a behavior as you want to. It's very easy. Most of our dogs are bilingual, know many different signals for the same behavior and that's easily done. So hope you enjoyed this little bit of dog trivia, why dogs are trained in German and we're certainly open to debate. So like, comment, share, have fun with this little silly video. Hope you enjoyed it.